section 3.5 um, is equations parallel or perpendicular. So for parallel lines, same slope. Perpendicular lines, negative reciprocal slope. So again, if it was one half, the perpendicular slope is the opposite sign and or the reciprocal. So if it was negative two thirds, it would be positive three over two. Okay, and then remember that slope, I think the best way to remember it or think of it is change in the y direction over the change in the x direction. There's the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, but sometimes I feel like that causes some issues with negative signs and stuff like that. So just looking at um, like two coordinates. So if we did change in the Y, that goes up 12. If you think of a number line from negative four to positive eight is 12 spaces. And then from two to six is four positive, it goes up. So if it went the other way, you'd put negative. So if it went like from six to two, then you put negative four. If it goes down, put negative. So then the change in Y is 12, the change in X is four. That means the slope is three. So you'll have a couple problems that have points and it wants to know are they parallel or are they perpendicular? So you need to find the slope of both of them and then indicate, it might even have neither as one. So if they're not negative reciprocals or they're not the same, then you would put neither. All right, and then you'll have some things to do with parallel and perpendicular. So um, let's see. So write the equation parallel to this line and goes through that point. So we need the slope. So in my problem, the answer is going to be negative 2x and then I don't know. Because it has to have the same slope if it's parallel. So to figure out what goes there, plug in the coordinate for the y part and the x part of the point. So I'm going to put 6 here, negative 1 there, and I don't know what the b part is. So negative 2 and negative 1, positive 2, subtract so four, that's really funny. I just randomly chose numbers and it worked out to be the exact same line. So that was kind of weird. Um, typically that won't happen. Actually, it probably won't happen on a test for sure. It'll be different, but um, process is still the same. Um, so perpendicular, if you had, let's say, All 
right, so again, slope is negative two. So the perpendicular slope would be negative or opposite sign and then the reciprocal. So my answer is going to be one half x plus, I don't know. Okay, so there's a b there, but yeah, it's, don't know what goes there yet. So plug in our numbers, so negative one for y, four for x plus b. Half of four is two. So negative three. there. Okay, so you'll have a couple parallel and a couple perpendicular problems. Not too many, it's only like six problems today, so real quick, hopefully. But like two of each. Two where it gives you like coordinates and it wants to know are they parallel or perpendicular. Two parallel problems and two perpendicular problems. All right, knock that out and we'll see you tomorrow.